What you just saw, the intro sequence, was actually fully edited and rendered on this desktop PC I have here, right behind me. Now inside this custom-built PC by Mensa Computers is the brand new AMD Ryzen Trade Ripper Pro. And the specific model we have fitted inside is the 32 cores 3975WX. Before I go into the specifics of how the Trip Ripper Pro has actually changed the way I work as a video editor, let me set the context on why I'm actually reviewing this PC. Especially some of you might recognize me or recall that I'm actually a long time Macintosh user. Fellow Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects editors on Mac OS will probably know some of the pain points of editing with them given the optimization for Mac OS. So like many of you, I've always been on the lookout for a better workstation to improve my editing workflow. So when Mensa Computers and AMD reach out to me to see if I'd like to try the new Trip Ripper Pro 3975WX, I must admit, I was a little bit apprehensive at first given my relatively distant relationship with Windows. Having used the Mac for over the past two decades now, I think it's pretty safe to term me as what you call a die-hard Mac user or an Apple fanboy. But you know, I've never been really a gamer, so I've been really comfortable with the Mac system over the years and never saw the need to use Windows much less a powerful custom-built PC like this. But never say never, right? So when this collab with Mensa Computers and AMD came about, I decided to take a leap of faith to try out this beastly new processor by AMD. And boy, has that changed my mind about editing on the PC, especially when you have the right hardware inside. Now here's a disclaimer. I'm not a technical expert when it comes to PC hardware, so when it comes to specifications or any benchmarks about the Trip Ripper Pro, whatever I'm sharing with you would be information already available out there. Here's a quick intro to the AMD Ryzen Trip Ripper Pro lineup. The one I have inside here, the Trip Ripper Pro 3975WX, is the mid-range of the current generation of Trip Ripper Pro CPUs by AMD. With 32 cores, it offers twice as many cores as the 3955WX and half the number of cores of the highest-end AMD Trip Ripper Pro 3995WX chip. Budget Systems probably sums up the advantage that the Trade Ripper Pro has over the normal Trade Ripper and its direct competitor, the Intel Xeon W, the best. As we can see from the breakdown here, the three main advantages that the Trade Ripper Pro has are increased RAM capability, increased PCI Express lanes, and higher reliability. Where the normal Trade Ripper maxes out at 256GB of RAM, the Trade Ripper Pro is capable of using up to 2TB. The number of memory channels is also double as compared to the Trip Ripper, going from 4 to 8 channels of memory, which should greatly improve overall performance in applications that are memory bound. The Trip Ripper Pro increases the number of PCIe lanes from 32 on the Ryzen, or 64 on the normal Trip Ripper, to now 128. Now, this might not affect most content creators or even professional editors out there, since 64 lanes on the normal Trip Ripper already allows for up to 4 video cuts. However, having these many PCIe lanes allow for support of multiple GPUs alongside a large number of other devices such as NVMe drives. While it's difficult to say exactly how much more reliable the Trip Ripper Pro will be compared to the normal Trip Ripper, it's believed that the workstation hardware like this here is built to be more reliable, especially when you put it under long, sustained heavy load, which many of us video editors do, right? For more in-depth breakdown of the above, you can check out Puget Systems' in-depth testing and review of the Trip Ripper Pro as compared to the normal Trip Ripper and the Intel Xeon W. Just a quick caveat here. The processor is all but one part of the equation to the best video editing experience. Whether you're a content creator or doing more high-end professional video-related work such as motion graphics, animation, VFX, etc. Other parts like the SSD, RAM, GPU, motherboard, they all matter too and work hand-in-hand -hand with the CPU. Though I must say that the Trip Ripper Pro 3975WX that I have here obviously excels as being the brains of the entire system. Now for all the hardcore deep dive into the specs, benchmark comparisons, multiple reviews can be found on YouTube and by searching on Google. What's more important for me is to share with you how working with this Trip Ripper Pro PC has been for me, a long-time Macintosh user, and how it's actually made me consider purchasing a custom-built PC workstation like this one here. If I could summarize my entire experience, it would be into these three key standout points. Number one, editing efficiencies. As we know, the CPU is almost always responsible for the performance of decoding and encoding your videos. 
especially when working with Adobe Premiere Pro. Now this is where the Trade Reaper Pro really really shines. Now here's a working sequence I have here on Adobe Premiere Pro. Featuring a mix of 4K XAVCS and XAVCS, i 10 bit 422 and 4K 16-bit ProRes raw footage shot on the Sony Alpha 7S Mark III for an existing project that I was working on. As you can see, scrubbing on the timeline is smooth, fast and without any obvious lags at all. Adding effects and rendering it was also quick and fast too. As editors, smooth live playback is the most important part of the editing process. After working on Premiere Pro with this PC, I found myself enjoying the editing process a lot better as I wasn't bogged down by constantly having to render the sequence or create multiple proxies. While it wouldn't be a like-for-like -like comparison as we also need to take into account the specs and other internals as well as the operating system differences of Windows versus Mac OS, there are multiple benchmarks online to show just how the Trade Ripper Pro is a step above the Intel Xeon W processors which are actually found in the highest end Mac Pro. I'll be very honest here, I still prefer working on Mac OS as compared to Windows. However, the editing efficiencies brought about by the Trip Ripper Pro has actually made me seriously consider having a PC like this as my main video editing workstation instead. Number 2. Mind-blowing render speeds Efficiencies with decoding different video codecs and having smooth live playback are just one of the many game-changing aspects of working with the Trade Ripper Pro. As we know, many editors have found solutions when working with less efficient CPUs, such as creating proxies as a workaround for a smoother editing workflow. Where the Trade Ripper Pro really sets a high benchmark for our competitors is how fast the export speeds are on Premiere Pro. Once again, you can see the benchmark scores here done by Puget Systems and see how significant the export gains are with the Trip Ripper Pro. Having high call counts does help in rendering and exporting of videos, especially when the working file itself has multiple layers of high-resolution video files in addition to effects added. At 32 cores, the Trip Ripper Pro 3975WX seems to be the sweet spot. Here's a live example of a recent hour-long video I was working on containing multiple layers of video, stock footage, motion graphic layers, as well as effects added in Premiere Pro itself. It's not a like for like comparison, but the Mensa PC here with the Trip Ripper Pro 3975WX exported this full sequence in a mind-blowing 18 minutes as compared to close to approximately 58 minutes on my iMac Pro 2018 and around 1 hour 15 minutes on my latest MacBook Pro 16 inch 2020. While exporting multiple video content or long-form content is something editors often leave their workstations to run overnight, if you're rushing against time or need to work on quick pieces of video content that needs to be published or uploaded as soon as possible due to time sensitivities, having a powerful CPU like the Trade Ripper Pro definitely gives you a peace of mind and might even improve your mental health as a video editor, if you know what I mean. Number 3. Multitasking Haven As I mentioned at the start, I'm not really a gamer, but after coming back to the PC and using Windows for an extended period amount of time, I've just felt the urge to download a game or two and try out its multitasking capabilities. While RAM is definitely integral for multitasking, having more cores is just as important as well in ensuring efficiencies of running multiple applications without any visible performance dips or lags, at least to the visible naked eye of mine. Take a look as I render a video on Premiere Pro, scrub through the timeline on After Effects, and even play a game that I enjoy, PS 2021, all at the same time. I found it amazing that there wasn't any lag at all in the applications, and the fact that I could browse the web, game, while Premiere AE or Media Encoder is exporting is absolutely mind-blowing. After using this machine for about a month, I must say I'm actually quite reluctant to send it back. But huge thanks to Mensa Computers and AMD for opening my eyes to what a powerful PC workstation like this offer for creators like myself. To my fellow Mac diehards out there, actually, Windows is not that bad. Once you get used to some of its quirks and install some add-ons to make the experience more Mac OS-like, can be pretty decent, especially for fellow video editors out there like myself. Sometimes when an OS like Windows is paired with the best hardware out there and put together by amazing folks like those at Mensa Computers, the whole user experience can really shine. The AMD Trip Ripper Pro 3975WX retails for $4,199. Sing 
And you can contact my friends here at Mensa Computer to find out more about configuring a workstation with this amazing CPU or any of AMD's other Threadripper Pro lineup. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you and see you next time.